Hello, Leo and Leo Rising. Sandra from Four Year Chi here today to do your October 2023. Welcome to October. Thanks for being here with me. As usual, first six houses here on YouTube. The remainder of the reading will be contained in the link below. It's on Patreon. Tier 2 is what you want if you want to get that. Also, if you want to book a session with me, check out that link also below. You can view my calendar and book at the same time. Okay, but where you're at right now, it may not feel like it, Leo, but the universe, the world, is your oyster. You are, whatever you're putting out there into the universe, it is about to come back to you, especially in the first few days of October. Make sure you're remaining positive regardless of what's going on. If you hear shouting in the background, I apologize. It's my five-year-old playing outside with his dad. Okay. In addition to this, they want you to meditate because while you are planting seeds, the other thing that's happening is you're receiving downloads from the higher power. Okay. So you want to make sure that you receive these messages to make the most benefit of the first couple of days of October, which apparently have some magic in it for you. So congratulations for that. Your money, however, memories of love. This is the six of cups, the reminiscent of times past. You may be thinking about when your money was different, when it was better, when you were making more, etc. But regardless of anything else, they're saying there is there are blessings that are coming. Now, Maybe you're not seeing tangible evidence of it yet in October, but there is a sign or you hear word of money. This could be more money coming in, money that you were expecting to come in that hasn't yet. This could also be a gift from someone that's a surprise because the second house rules your stuff in addition to money. And you're like, well, Sandra, I would rather have the money. Well, I get it. But sometimes it's a cool item instead. So we'll see what happens for you in October. Your third house, brother, sister. Okay, so your um, something is out of balance with your brother or sister's life right now. Perhaps they're working too hard or they're not getting enough rest or something like that. They need to put it back into balance and also put their intention out there. This could be, um, I'm seeing like affirmations that are written down. So maybe they have like this once a month thing. You know, some people at the new moon or the full moon write their intentions down and burn them or do a certain thing with them. People have different ways of doing it. Um, but regardless, the most important thing is to get their life back into balance right now. Then they can focus on the intentions. Your fourth house, house of home where you currently live, emotional withdraw. Okay, so this may be you taking a sabbatical, a time out from your home. This could be you taking like a long weekend away or something like that. Sorry, I had a bunch of salt for dinner and it's, I'm just really thirsty. Um, you could also be craving having a vacation near a lake or near a river or near a body of water. Um, this could also be you taking some quiet time alone out to figure out where you know where you want to move next or what you want to do with your home or where your your living situation. Self acceptance right now with regard to the fourth house. This is kind of a weird card to have in this house. I'm not going to lie. So perhaps you need to come to terms with what has happened with where you live. Um, you might not be 100% satisfied with where you, you live. And so you are trying to figure out how to fix it, Leo. Okay. Your fifth house, house of social life, fun, friends, dating for those of you single Leos. Well, this is, this is an opportunity to say yes to something, um, social invitation. Now, if this is not talking about a social invitation, this could be talking about, because um, sometimes children show up in the fifth house. Oftentimes, you'll have a child show up in the fifth house when you have multiple children. So one will show up in the 11th house that has a significant event coming, uh, going on in October. 
or the month that I'm doing the spread. And then the other child will show up in the fifth house. So, so there could be something or someone that presents themselves to your child and it just opens the floodgates of love because that's what the heart chakra means. So someone that they really love shows up, makes them an offer, shows them a gesture, asks them out, something like this. Um, what else? Listening. So there is definitely some higher power action going on in the form of downloads. Now, someone may have a friend because, or the person you're dating or your child may come to you and say, Leo, uh, they're having some sort of cardiac symptoms. This could involve chest pain. And if that's the case, the message is they need to listen to their body and they need to go get it checked out as soon as possible. So encourage them to do that if you get approached with that information. Um, or if your friend or your child is acting funny, maybe you need to start asking them questions about this. Okay. Lots of young people are having very strange heart issues, Leo. Watch out for that. It's not like it used to be. This is the new world, not the old world, unfortunately, in many cases. Not all, but many. Your sixth house, work and health, emotional loss. You are missing something about work or about your job, or maybe you're just missing going to work in general. Um, however, there is something new coming in here that you are going to love. So that is right around the corner. Don't be too disheartened by this. Now, this could also be a Leo who has had a some sort of health or body setback recently. And you're missing feeling, you know, 100%. And perhaps you're trying to recover. Okay? And someone here, someone new comes in to help you pick up your spirits and feel better. And perhaps that will aid in the recovery process. All right? Now, let's see who's around you, Leo, in your seventh house of primary relationships when it comes to zodiac signs. We have two sword cards here, so that's an Aquarius. I always talk about these stalker Aquarius since every reading's pulling this, these sword cards or the aqua card. It could be an Aquarius, but also could be Libra, could be Gemini. You have the tower. Dun, 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 a Scorpio. All right. Your classic Scorpio falls in your reading again, Leo. Pay attention, pay attention. All right, so if you wanna follow me in the extended reading, the link is below. Second tier is what you want for that. We're gonna be going over your seventh house of primary relationships, including romance angel cards. Your eighth house of taxes, legal matters, contracts, the source of your significant other's income if that applies. Did I say intimacy? I'm just going to tell you right now that um, the love life looks problematic for the Leo. It will not go smoothly this month, but when does it, really? But it, it really looks uh, more problematic than usual. That doesn't mean it's going to stay that way, though. Your ninth house of school and travel, your 10th house of career and your mother, your 11th house of your child or your best friend, the 12th house, what's about to happen three months from now in January of 2024. Thanks for being here with me, Leo. Take care.